You asked and we listened. Today we're going to be looking at the Kawhi Novus series and we'll be comparing it against their digital series and the concert artist CA. So today we're looking at the NV5 versus the CA99. Stay with us. Hi, Patrick Marr with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. Find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channels, like our videos, sign up for notifications, and leave us some comments. This video today is actually brought to you by some of our comments. Um, and so we're really excited that you guys are, are watching and interested in our, in our content here. But um, I know there's a lot of questions, not only in our comment section, but online, um, of the hybrid series of pianos from Kauai and the digital series, the CA series. Um, and so we thought we would take a look at uh, two of the newest releases, um, the CA99, which we've done a video over, and the NV5, which we've also done a video over. Um, but we really wanted to look at them side by side, kind of listen to the differences, um, play around on, on the actions, which I think is the, the, the biggest difference between these two. Um, and then just hear what you guys think. Um, there's, there's a lot of little minute differences in um, the cabinet design, things like that, um, and the look of, of the overall instrument. But um, again, the biggest difference is going to be under the hood. And we're going to take a look at that here in a minute. Um, so first, I'm going to start with the similarities. So as you can see, um, they're both uh, very upright piano looking. <laughs> um, and so it's actually a big difference in the CA line. Um, the CA98, which is the predecessor to the 99, um, looked more like, and I, I don't know if you can see it, but in the back corner over here, um, it's, it's, uh, it was the old, an older design version of what the CA98 looked like, um, very similar to the one in the corner. This one is the new 99. Um, again, it has that soft closed lid. Looks a little bit more like an upright piano, which is, I think, uh, one of those things where Kawhi listened to consumers um, and they were like, I wanted a digital piano, but if I'm paying this kind of money, why, why doesn't it look like a real piano? Um, so you get that in both of these. You get that um, acoustic piano look. Um, there is a difference. As you can see, there's a, there's a height difference. Um, so on the CA99, sorry, the CA99, you have 40 inches upright. Um, on the NV5, you have 43 inches, so about a three inch difference. Um, and then also there's a little bit of a, it's a little bulkier on the NV5, so just a, a little more built out on the side, on the cheek blocks, so you get about an extra inch and a half. Um, I believe the measurements are 57 inches across here, 58 and a third this way. Um, and then there's also a weight difference. Um, not a huge one, but uh, I would say 50 pounds can, can uh, um, prohibit one person from moving something over two, but this is going to be 200 pounds, 196. Um, this is going to be 249 pounds. Um, so about a 50 pound difference. Um, where's all that weight? What they look very similar in size. What's the big weight difference? And now this is the big difference between both of them um, is what is under the hood. Again, we're going to show you some pictures. Um, the CA99 has the Grand Feel 3 action. So hopefully it's showing up somewhere, somewhere here. Um, but if you take a look, it's a very complicated digital piano action, uh, replicating a grand piano action. Um, so you get a longer key than a lot of normal digital pianos. Um, there's a counterweight. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff that's going to make this feel like a grand piano. And so I think of the most advanced uh, treadmills. So when you're running, the most advanced treadmill that's going to feel like outside is going to change uh, change the, the way you're running uphill or downhill, change the resistance, things like that. A very high-tech, if you will, treadmill. But then what's the difference between a treadmill and running outside? And it's the authentic thing. So the NV5 really delivers an acoustic action in your digital piano. Um, and so we're going to show pictures right now of um, the Millennium 3 action, hybrid action from Kawhi. This is a full upright action. You can see all those parts. Um, it's it's got over 6,000 parts, um, and it's got over 1,000 pieces of carbon fiber in it. Um, these, are, these are very hard to replicate in, in a small key, um, and also adds to the weight. So we were talking about that weight difference. Um, again, the NV5 is an upright action versus uh, mimicking a grand action in the CA99. Um, so uh, those of you who are familiar with, with piano actions, a grand piano has uh, a lot more uh, 
I would say, control over how you're playing. So uh, on a longer key, especially on a grand piano, you get a lot more micro adjustments. Um, if you think about a tool, you get a lot more micro adjustments in that grand piano action. Um, so you're able to play uh, um, a, little, a little more precise, um, a little more dynamically uh, ranging. Um, but there's also, on the grand piano, gravity with the hammers. Um, so that's something they're trying to, to replicate here, but um, the way the hammers fall in an, an acoustic piano on a grand is they're falling with gravity. You're able to play a little bit more quickly, a little more uh, responsive to that. Um, on an upright piano, it's, it's more mechanical in the movement of the hammer striking the string. Um, this does a fantastic job of replicating an acoustic action, and I think we touched on that in the last video, um, but just incredible feeling. It feels like a real acoustic piano, um, and you're able to make micro adjustments in uh, the, the, the sound engine, the rendering, um, but there's also uh, in the pedal action, they've, they've done a real damper assembly on the NV5, um, and that, that is connected all the way up to the action, and so they've, they've done a really cool job of, um, of the pedal assembly actually mechanically moving in the action, um, whereas they just they, uh, they replicate that here with just technology, um, and they have a half pedal point um, and things like that. Um, the similarities, again, between these two, you have complete control um, on the left cheek block, and that's your control center. Um, and so you have the SK EX rendering sound piano engine, um, which is also incredible. We've gone over it in multiple videos. Um, it's used on the CA-79, the CA-99. It's on the NV-5. Um, it's on the NV-10. Um, it's on the Aris system. So this is, this is Kawhi's uh, primary um, control system for their digital lines, especially in the higher end digital pianos. Um, so you have complete control over the SK, which is um, their Shigeru Kawai nine foot piano, the SKEX. You have complete control over that. Um, again, my favorite part is that you make it yours. There's 10 presets loaded on there, um, and those presets, we're going to go over them on both of these. We'll do a little, a little bit of a run between both of them, um, and we'll listen to them too uh, through the soundboard. So, so I know we haven't even talked about this, but one of the coolest similarities between both of these is the sound system is identical. It's the twin drive soundboard speaker system. Um, we'll show you some pictures of this. It's actually a, a piece of wood on the back of your, of your instrument. Very different than any other digital piano uh, on the market. Um, you're using uh, transducers on that soundboard um, in conjunction with uh, some speakers on, on the actual unit, and it's making this 360 display of sound um, and it sounds beautiful. It's, it's warm. It's got uh, acoustic properties because it's coming off of that solid piece of wood, um, which is uh, how a grand piano works, how an upright piano works. You get that nice blend of digital technology with acoustic technology. Um, so I'm really excited to show you guys both of these and to take a listen to them. We're going we're gonna to mic them on the back, and we're also going to run the sound system direct out. Um, the reason we're doing that, this was another question, the reason we're doing that um, is because, because we, we know these sound systems, they spend tons of money on getting the sample perfect. Um, and so we want to show that to you guys through your speakers, but we also want to hear what it sounds like more naturally. So with a microphone, that's kind of more what it will sound like for you sitting there playing the piano. Um, and then again, the action again is the biggest difference in these two. So after we take a listen to them, um, I'll let you know what I think the, the real differences are and kind of the feeling. Um, again, I highly recommend checking them out. They're both beautiful, beautiful instruments. Um, and there's a, there's a big price jump between um, the NV5 and the CA99. Um, so you're paying for that acoustic action, and you will have to be the judge of if it's worth it. Um, and I'll let you know my thoughts here right after we play them. But I'm really excited to show you guys Let's take a listen.
Both these instruments may sound very similar, and it's because they are very similar. You have the 135 watts of power coming out of it, a very identical speaker system on both. But from the player's perspective, it's going to feel very different. And that's what I felt. I felt the NV5's power. I felt the acoustic action. I felt the vibrations through my fingers. I felt the action giving back to me, more control over every keystroke. Um, really a cool experience to play one of these. If you've never played a hybrid, you get the full feeling of digital through an acoustic action. Very cool. The CA99, on the other hand, excellent, excellent digital piano action. One of the best I've ever played. It's a grand piano, a grand feel three is the name of the action, but it, it, it simulates that grand piano action. It has, acoustic, or it has wood keys, so you get that vibration through it. Um, and it's got counterweights, it's a longer key bed. You have a whole bunch of control over playing, and it feels light, and it feels like you're playing one of the nicer, nicer grand pianos you've ever played. Um, I really like the CA series um, for, this, for this very action. It's on the CA79 and the CA99. Just an incredible action. I don't think there's competing with a real acoustic piano action. So I'm going to say the NV5 takes the edge for me. Um, but let us know what you think. Um, and, and one of the other things we really didn't touch on but was finish options. This CA series comes in, especially the CA99, comes in a polished ebony. If you like the polished ebony look, it comes in that polished ebony. It also comes in a satin rosewood. And we have the satin black here to show you guys. Thank you guys for watching. We're Almo Music Center in San Antonio. Find us on the web at almomusic.com. I'm Patrick Marr. Thank you guys again. Subscribe if you haven't, like our videos, and send us some comments because we love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, please reach out to us anytime. We love to talk music and talk instruments. Thank you guys.